Well, you have to start out with things like, this is a book, say it again, this is a book, and then listen, this is a book, you say, this is a book, and I listen. <laughs> and uh, many, many times just on a simple thing like that. Then you start out, this is a pencil, hold that up, go through the whole process again, before you can even ask them, what's this? So they can volunteer, it's a pencil. This workshop was set up because teachers, individual sponsors, and church groups need to know more about how to help their Vietnamese students adapt to American society. Motivation is the asset in this learning experience, and young Vietnamese students are highly motivated to catch up with their American classmates, just as older Vietnamese are anxious to find their place in American life. From Iowa State University, I'm Dick Voss for Newswatch. Uh, they are now a little concerned about uh, the next few months, the uh, winter time. But uh, most of them are very happy with the present situation. From here, Marshall Key will return to Washington for two days of rest. Then it's on to MIT and Yale for two more speaking engagements. It takes five years to become a U.S. citizen. Key hasn't decided yet if he will or will not make that move. But until that time, he's looking for a home. And for right now, he thinks he'll be a farmer. This is Willis Hintz reporting for... Next stop for the 43 Vietnamese refugees is Camp Dodge. After an overnight stay at that facility, the Thai Dom tribesmen will be off for all parts of Iowa, where they will work primarily in agriculture. Craig King reporting for Newswatch.